Die Die Videos. Hello, and welcome back to a brand new Mario Pocket video. So today I'm going to be showing you a brand new Pocket Labs video. So we haven't done one of these in ages, and the device that I usually use to make the maps and record has sadly broken. The device's screen's broken, and I thought I'd be able to get the save file. However, it's just completely bricked. So I'm going to have to rebuild a load of um, saved up Pocket Labs um, maps and contraptions over the next few weeks. So um, let's just get straight into this video, which is of course Mob AI, which is a brand new feature added in 0.8.0. What I mean by this is a brand new pathfinding system, which basically means um, creatures will be able to get to you a lot easily, easier, they'll be able to navigate themselves around things, I think that's what I was trying to say, um, using brand new AI and brand new intelligence. So basically this will mean that mobs such as um, zombies, skeletons, creepers, um, you know, all of them, they'll all be able to get to you a lot easier, so um, they'll be able to track you through forests and not get stuck on, I guess, trees and things like they used to. So this basically means that everything is going to be a lot more hard. So I'm, I'm actually quite happy about this, um, because everything does need to be a bit more hard. Because if you have um, diamond armor, you're basically like decked out and you'll never die. So thankfully now, the mobs will be able to get to you a bit easier and it makes the game a bit more challenging. So I've been really excited about this. However, I've also been excited about the pathfinding because this actually means, I saw a Seth Bling video on this a while ago, and this means that mobs can now do mazes. So um, to show you this, I'll show you a pig doing this maze here. Now, the pig follows you if you have potatoes. Look, he's looking at me like, I want that potato. And this is thanks to the animal breeding side of things. You can now, you know, move pigs and animals around. Um, so the pig really wants this potato. So basically, um, if I stand here, the mob is going to try and find the shortest route to get to me and stand just by me when I'm having the potato. So a potato. So basically, um, the mob will come, do the maze, and then it will jump onto here, onto here, and then find its way around to me. Where, where I'm here. So let's just go ahead and watch it. Now it's going to try and find the shortest route, which is of course this, 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 this. So it looks quite easy from above, you know, it's quite an easy route. However, if you were actually in the maze, this 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 maze could take you, you know, a couple of a couple of minutes to solve going down dead ends and things like this. Um, obviously this is the right route this way. However, this pig will also find the shortest route, so it will just like, you know, go straight there. So let's go ahead and demonstrate it. So we'll break this and the pig is going to start moving. So as you can see, it sort of gets stuck around corners. Now this is a bit glitchy, um, but this isn't really a glitch since it does... Oops, I think the pig thought we were too close. and it, No, the pig thinks we're too close, so it's going to carry on going around. As you can see, it does get a bit trapped on corners. However, it does in the end find the shortest route and it will continue to go through here quite slowly around the corners. Um, and then it will slowly at some point hop its way up. There we go. And now it's going to work its way along the top of the, um, I guess, bush um, to the closest point to me, which should be about here. However, he might stop here. No, he's going to come to around here. So there you go. So the pig has now solved the maze. You know, a normal basic Minecraft pig has solved a maze in a couple of seconds, really. Um, I don't think that was a minute. That was probably like 30 seconds. Whereas it would probably take a normal human going down, you know, getting stuck in all the... The little, the little off cuts. If they were lucky, they could probably solve it. However, the pig has managed just to solve it instantly. So smart pig, there you go. There's your reward. Thank you. Um, it died for a noble cause. So then let's just look how the mob AI thing works. So this is basically going to demonstrate how far away animals will notice you. Now this is quite useful later on when we look at the, the bigger mazes. Um, so basically, if we spawn in a potato, nope, a pig. Um, if we spawn in a pig here, bad baby pig. He was thinking of jumping off the edge. You need to stay there, Mr. Piggy. And we run back over 15 steps. So now we're going to hold the potato in our hand. Now he looks at us and he just stands still. Now once we get 15 blocks away, he'll start walking towards us. Now then, he's going to continue walking until we get about 39 or 40 blocks away when he's going to finally give up and lose interest in us. So when we get to about 30 or 40 blocks, he's still walking, so we're not there yet. He's still walking and he stops. So now we're 30 or 40 blocks away and now we have to go back 15 blocks until he, he can regain his posture and start walking towards us. So that's going to be quite interesting in the future when we look at the maze that I built. And this basically determines how big a maze you can create. Now let's also look at the way that this whole animal thing works and this whole like tracking system works. Now it does avoid danger to an extent and the way that I mean an extent I'm just going to demonstrate here. So we've got two patches of lava. Um, so we'll spawn in a pig here and then we'll hold a potato over here. Now the pig is just going to walk into the lava. It just walks straight into the lava. I can demonstrate it again if we spawn it a bit far back. 
and it's just going to walk straight into the lava. However, if we go over to this side, and we drop down, and we spawn in a pig, and then we hold it, the pig isn't going to walk into the lava. Now, this, like, these look exactly the same, but they're really not. You see, one of them is a two block deep gap. Now, this means that the pig thinks that if it falls down there, it won't take damage. So it doesn't. So it walks into there, then it gets trapped. But at least it's closest to you. So it looked at the lava, and it doesn't actually recognize lava or liquids. So there is actually, like, you know, two block distance here. And then we have the end there. So the pig just thought it could, like, climb in there, but it couldn't because it lavered. And then the next one, I think, is a one, two, three, four, a four block gap. So if we spawn in a pig, okay, into a fence. Um, if we spawn in a pig, he's going to not take his way around it because he knows he will fall and take damage. So um, that's basically how the whole, um, you know, the whole, the whole system works. This pig is now going to follow us around. So as you can see, it's quite like, you know, it's quite instant, like, following around. It's quite cool. So then let's go on to the bigger maze. So this is the biggest maze. Um, this maze, if there wasn't glass in the way, it would probably take you quite a long time to complete. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's, it's quite big. So let's go ahead, um, break the bar. Uh, let's, let's break the bar without killing the pig. And then let's stand about here and hold the potato. Then we're going to jump onto this block here and hope that the pig doesn't get confused. So the pig is basically going to carry on going all the way around this maze to the exit there, jump up onto here. So it's basically a pathfinding pig solving pig. Pig solving? Maze solving pig. There you go. So as you can see, it doesn't go down any of the um, dead ends and it is trying to find, well, it's found the shortest route to me. So I really like this new pathfinding system, I think it's really cool, and I love the way that it allows us to instantly, well, very quickly solve mazes with pigs and other um, animals. This does work with other animals, it can be sheep, um, chickens, cows, anything that can breed really, or gets aggroed towards you. So any mob really, I guess, I don't know if there's a mob that just ignores the player, if it does a certain thing. However, the pig is going to work its way along, there we go. I've, I've done glass this way this time, just so we can see him a lot clearer. And then he's going to climb up. No, he's not. He's going to flail about a bit. There we go. Then find his way. No, nope, no, nope. he's, he's still a bit stuck. Let's see if we can help him out a bit by jumping over here a bit. Mr. Piggy. There we go. Okay, so, you know, he sometimes gets stuck, but he's a smart pig, really. Then he's going to work his way along. It looks like he can float over gaps, which is which is cool, you know. I guess, I guess pigs can do that now. That must be new in the update. But this way, he's just going to walk along. And then he's going to come to us, and he's going to be all like, give me the potato. So we should probably give him the potato. Um, you can jump on there if you want. Oh, good job, pig. Oh, now you're going to have to solve it again. So there you go. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a like. Um, hopefully, there will be more Pocket Labs videos after I finish building everything again. Isn't that right, Mr. Piggles? Piggles! Mr. Piggles! So um, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and goodbye. Bye!